Carinus became co-emperor with his father Carus, as Carus and younger son Numerian left to campaign in the east. While Carinus initially seemed up to the task, he appears to have rapidly abandoned good governance in favor of luxury, personal excess, and the politics of petty vengeance. He persecuted those who didn't suck up to him before he was the boss, treated the senate like dirt, and affronted the dignity of the throne with his lascivious behavior. Such an embarrassment was he that his father reportedly intended to remove him, but died on the Persian campaign before he could do so. Carinus's brother Numerian concluded the eastern war and headed for home, but he took ill in the climate and died under suspicious circumstances. The soldiers declared a new emperor in the field, cavalry commander Diocletian, and you will be hearing that name again. Karanis met Diocletian at the Battle of the Margus, aka the Morava River in modern-day Serbia. Accounts differ as to what happened at the battle, but Karanis does die there, and Diocletian takes over and has Karanis stricken from the record via Damnatio Memoriae. Karanis is considered to be among the worst of Rome's emperors, though we may temper this view a bit given that history is written by the victors. The victor in this case was, of course, Karanis' opponent Diocletian. <laughs> 